breaking news. It came out yesterday, but we're starting to get more information on it. We have a letter. Uh, it's to Merrick Garland and Christopher Ray. It's from uh, Chuck Grassley and Congressman Comer. There's also a subpoena from Congressman Comer, who is the chair of the Oversight and Accountability Committee. So it's pretty much a bombshell, and we want to get to the bottom of it. It has come to their attention that the Department of Justice and the FBI possess an unclassified FD-1023 form. That is FBI note forms when they're doing an investigation that describes an alleged criminal scheme involving then-Vice President Biden and a foreign national relating to exactly what we're all concerned about when it comes to Hunter and when it comes to the entire Biden crime family, the exchange of money for policy decisions. So choosing American policy, foreign policy, based off international money. And this has actually been investigated by the FBI. We don't know how far it went. The members of Congress don't know how far it went, but they know at least there was an investigation of an alleged crime that they were investigating him when he was vice president for taking money from a foreign national and then enacting U.S. policy for that foreign national. That's pretty close to treason. This could be very bad news for the Biden administration if this is all uncovered publicly. I mean, you, with the ramifications that we were talking about are the ones that Just people- Just the immediate. Yes. The immediate ramification could be, which even the Democrats may choose to do, and they've already wanted to push him out. This could be a reason why they push him out of running for our office again. Because this is even more serious than just what Hunter, it's kind of ties to Hunter in the sense that we know the FBI is investigating Hunter. What I am to to John Solomon about is, do we think that this came to light because of that investigation? Because of all the information they're going through with Hunter Biden to see if he was doing deals like this and kind of was the middleman. But what this accusation is that he, no middleman, that Vice President Biden was selling U.S. policy to a foreign interest. The reason it's so significant is it occurs six months before the 2020 election. It comes in via a confidential human source, a registered informant of the FBI. The FD 1023 form that Congress mentioned in this is a form used for intaking information when an agent meets with one of their confidential human sources or informants. So we know it comes from an informant. We know it comes in June 2020. And sources have told me that the allegations surround this pay-to-play bribery allegation that Congressman Comer mentioned involving something in Ukraine, a country that the Bidens have a rich history of because of the old Burisma holding saga that we've known about for years. So that's what makes it so serious. Congress is just trying to figure out if the FBI even tried to investigate this. Yeah. They said so specific it would have been easy to investigate, to know if it was true, accurate, somewhat true, or false. That's the first step in these. But the fact that this much exists on the Bidens, it kind of, Logan, to me, what it does is it confirms the suspicions that this family has just been enriching themselves, and they continue to do that uh, by utilizing their positions of power. Yeah, I think that- and that's illegal, highly illegal to sell U.S. policy uh, for yeah. foreign money. While you're in office, bro. While Likely. you are the vice president of the United States, it's nearly treason, and it certainly would be technically impeachable, but- it could also be the reason why, you always have to wonder this, if it, why it's coming out now, if Democrats also want Biden gone. Right. They're using this as a moment to say, okay, we, we think we can maybe win, but maybe there's somebody maybe better here. Maybe that'd be good here. for all of America. Yeah. To get this guy out. So I think that's an interesting point and of view. And Harris too, please. I, th I think that's an interesting point of view to say we need a fresh restart here and maybe this is what they're trying to do, get this information out there to the American people to say uh, this guy should not be president anymore and he was maybe doing some deals that were certainly, uh, it, it seems like, allegedly at least, unethical, at the very least, and impeachable, uh, which we don't, we don't throw that word around here a lot. These are lawyers that you're talking to. I'm not, but they are. They don't use that word impeachable very often. So you know what we're saying. That's why we're trying to drive this home. And I can tell. It easily be impeachable. Yeah. Uh, the, uh, just the Even under of, the, the normal standards, not even the Trump standards. It doesn't get much more criminal when you're the vice president or president of the United States. I mean, this is the most serious charge always, is are you being bribed? Are you being bribed to enact certain policies from a foreign interest against one of the United States? I mean, even if it was a domestic interest, yeah. it's illegal. It makes it that much worse that you'd be selling off policy to foreign interest.